To measure phosphate using test strips, you can use a kit like this. Inside, you'll find a pack of test strips and a small test tube. Fill the test tube up to the top line here, either using a syringe or if you've got a big sample bucket, you can just gently fill it up, avoiding dunking your whole hand in the sample. So if you go a little bit over or under the line, it's not the end of the world. You just need to make sure that your test tube is full. Pop the cap on while you get the test strip out. Try and keep your fingers dry when you're going into the tube and just shake one strip out, trying to keep the rest clean and dry. Cap back on straight away. These strips, you have to do a little bit of a tricky fold. So bend the strip. Don't fold it, just bend it gently and then fit that into the cap on the top of your test tube. So you've bent it into a sort of hook shape. Slot that into the test tube lid and then pop the lid back on your tube. That means that your strip is now in contact with the sample. Invert it gently five times. Don't shake it around, you don't want to get too many air bubbles in there, but you just want to ensure that you're mixing your sample thoroughly and the test strip is being fully submerged in the sample. Once you've done it five times, you might notice the water start to change colour. This might be a bit tricky to see because I'm wearing a blue top. So if you are wearing something blue, try and hold the, the sample away from you. Then remove the cap, put the strip to one side. And then this is the tricky bit. You have to look through the sample down onto your test strip bottle and try and match the colour and see which one it matches closest to. Here there's barely been any colour change in my water, it doesn't look like it's gone very blue, so I think that this gives me a reading of zero ppb which is parts per billion. When you're finished you can discard your sample. There's only a tiny, tiny amount of reagent in there, so it's safe for you to discard onto the ground. And then dispose of your test strip into a waste bag, which you can take home and put in your household waste. Cap back on, and then take it to your next site.